Hi everybody, it's John from Wire. Um, I get a lot of questions in my other videos, especially the one that talks about MailChimp lists and campaigns. And the questions are usually along the lines of, how do I build my MailChimp lists? How do I get people to subscribe to my newsletter? So I wanted to show you one of the websites that I work with and what I've done on the site to increase those signups and just the settings that you can find inside Shopify that'll help you do that. So the first way that I manage to have people sign up for my email list on Shopify is I have this pop-up that appears after 30 seconds. And this pop-up basically says, by sign up for this newsletter, you'll stay up to date with all the latest blog releases, updates, et cetera, et cetera. And the most important part out of this whole thing is special discounts. And this is kind of a little trick that I found that People don't really care about your updates or your product releases, but they do care about special discounts. So if people know they're going to get a percentage off or a discount or even just information that's going to be free to them, they're more willing to put in their email address and sign up for the newsletter. And this is true for a lot of things. So I always include special discounts or sales or a free ebook download onto all of my pop-ups because I know it increases the conversion. Uh, the second thing I wanna point out is that this comes onto the screen after 30 seconds. And the reason it comes on after 30 seconds is that it can be really annoying to your visitors if they land on your website and immediately are greeted with a pop-up. Um, this is just from personal experience and from what I've seen in the past. You really don't wanna overdo this pop-up on the website. If anything, it should only appear once, and if a customer comes back like 10 days later, honestly, I don't think you shouldn't have it at all. And this is a setting depending on what theme you have in Shopify. So if you have a paid theme, you're much more likely to be able to customize those options. Um, again, my settings are 30 seconds, and then it'll never appear if the person comes back within the month. So the second location on the site that someone can sign up for the newsletter is all the way at the bottom in the footer. And again, I've mentioned that they're going to get the latest on sales, new releases, and more. So the keyword here is sales because that saves people money. The second thing I want to point out is that when someone enters their email address in this box and clicks on sign up, they are not automatically signed up to the list just yet. You'll see later on in the video, I have the email that arrives in their inbox, and that is a setting inside MailChimp. I think it's called double opt-in, and the reason you want double opt-in is so you cut down on spam and all uh, or fake signups, and I'll explain that later on as well. So another way you can get people to sign up for your email list is on the checkout page that you actually put in their payment method. There's an option in Shopify to subscribe to our newsletter. And this is actually built into the Shopify platform, so it doesn't matter if your theme supports this or not. Uh, but when they get to this part, you can set this to be automatically checked or unchecked. I always have it as checked because I know that's going to send a confirmation email to their email anyway. So if they really don't want to subscribe to the newsletter, it's no harm, no foul. They just don't need to respond to that email. But if they do get an email saying, hey, would you like to confirm your subscription, it's really common that they do click on confirm and sign up to the email that way. Okay, so now that we've taken a look at the front end and seen where the options are for the person to sign up for the MailChimp list, I wanted to show you inside Shopify where you can turn the setting on. And the setting is going to be located in settings. So you want to go to the bottom where it says settings and then click on checkout. And then if you scroll down from the top where it says order processing, there's this option here that says collecting consent to send promotional emails to customers from your store. If you click on this little question mark, it'll actually take you to the uh, section in Shopify help where it really describes what this actually does. But I'm just gonna go over it really briefly. When you have this first one selected, customer agrees to receive promotional emails by default. That means on that checkout page that I just showed you, it's going to automatically check to sign up for the MailChimp list. Now, the reason I do this, and you may be wondering, okay, John, well, that's kind of disingenuous. Why do you have them sign up without even, you know, giving them the option? Why do you have it on by default? And the reason is that I have two, 
um, two ways for them to sign up for the list. They, they have to first leave that checked when they are checking out, and then they have to agree to the email that arrives in their inbox. So I'm not signing people up by mistake. If they really don't want to sign up, they just need to do nothing and they won't be signed up to the list. Because without that email that comes in confirming that they've been added, uh, it's not going to add them to the list automatically. So that's why I always have it by default just in case they do want to sign up. If you really don't want to have any field on that checkout at all and just want to make it really streamlined, you can just go ahead and disable that completely. So what I'm going to show you next is what the email looks like from MailChimp that basically confirms that someone wants to sign up for the list. Okay, so this is the final part of this video and what you're seeing now is the email that your customers are going to receive once they've signed up for your MailChimp um, email list. And I just want to point out something and that is that this is the name of your MailChimp list as it is in your MailChimp admin center. So if you've named this MailChimp list something really ambiguous like list 4 or list 5, people are less likely to go and click on this subscribe me to this list because they don't know what it is. So make sure that it's really descriptive in your MailChimp settings. Make sure that the list is really descriptive so your customers know what they're getting into. Uh, all the customer has to do now is just click on yes subscribing to this list and it'll say thank you for subscribing and then you can go ahead and click on continue back to the website which will bring them right back to where they started. So the reason that you want to make sure that this two double factor sign in is enabled is that you're really going to cut down on fake emails. Um, having the ability for people just to put in their email and click on sign up sounds good in theory but you have to remember that you really just want people that are dedicated to opening the emails and to receiving your promotions because MailChimp free version does have a limit as to how many emails you can send. So with that, I hope you found this useful. If you have any other questions, please leave it in the comments below. I do read each and every one of them, and I hope you all have a great day. Thanks.